How do I secure a hard drive before sending it in for repair? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. Let's get right to the question. How does one secure a hard drive when sending the computer to a repair facility? I have personal financial information on my hard drive. Will just a password provide sufficient protection while the computer is in the shop? After the fact, is there a way to find out if someone has copied the files? This does present quite the dilemma. It really does. To answer the second question first, no, there's really no way to tell if your information has been copied. There are just too many different ways to copy information that don't leave a trace. Uh, there's just no way to know. When you get your computer back, you just don't know if somebody has made a copy of everything that's on it or if they completely ignored it. When it comes to protecting your data, things get complicated because some of the solutions we use to protect your data protect it so well that your computer repair technician may not be able to repair your computer. On the other hand, if they can get access to your machine, they may be able to see your data. Like I said, it's complicated. The problem here is very basic. One of the tenets of security, of computer security, is that if it's not physically secure, it's not secure. Which means that if somebody has access to your machine, then the security is brought into question because they can access what's on the machine. And of course, when you're sending something in for repair, be it your computer or just even just the hard disk, you're basically breaking physical security. You're giving it to somebody else. Now, handing your computer over to anybody, be it someone to just use or someone to repair, is inherently not secure. It really all does boil down to trust. Do you trust them? If you don't, maybe you need to find someone else. If you do, this may not be as much of an issue. But ultimately, there are a few things you can do, but none of them, with one exception, none of them are 100%. So if, you're, if you were able to plan ahead, one of the things you can do is to place all of your data in an encrypted, I'll call it an encrypted partition, but it can be an encrypted vault, anything that pre-encrypts your data, that keeps your data encrypted on the hard drive without encrypting Windows itself. So I'm explicitly saying no to BitLocker in a case like this, no to hard drive encryption, because when you give someone access to your computer, they're going to need to be able to boot the machine. They're going to need the BitLocker password or key or whatever in order to do whatever it is they need to do to repair your machine. If that at the same time exposes all your data, you've broken your security. If on the other hand, your data is secured separately from the operating system, like I said, it's encrypted using VeraCrypt or an encrypted partition, perhaps using BitLocker or uh, using something like BoxCryptor or any of the other encryption technologies. Okay, that might actually be okay. And in the long run, that's probably the most pragmatic approach to securing data without necessarily preventing someone from repairing your machine. There are two problems with it. One is you have to do it ahead of time which means if your machine's already broken and you need to repair it, you don't have the ability to put this protection in place. It is something you need to do before you need it. And the other, of course, is that there's still a possibility for data leakage. For example, uh, I'm making this up, but the idea is simply that if you open a document from your encrypted folder, and you bring it into your word processor. The word processor may have temporary files or there may be things swapped out to the paging file that are not encrypted. When you shut down your word processor, when you basically close up your encrypted data so that it's only visible encrypted, traces might be left over. Temporary files, paging files, don't know, right? I mean, there's, there's just the possibility is there. A legitimate technician isn't going to care. They're not going to go snarfing through your paging file or looking for temporary files because there might be something left over in there. So that's probably an okay thing in most cases. 
there are cases where it's not. And like I said, I've got a 100% solution that you're just not going to like. But the bottom line is leakage is possible, but it's the most pragmatic solution if you can do it ahead of time. For most folks, I'm not sure it's worth the effort, to be honest, because like I keep saying, if, if you're an average person, chances are what you have on your machine just isn't that interesting. And if you're an average technician, you're not going to go hunting for random things on random people's computers. You've got a job to do. Nonetheless, I understand people want to be secure. There isn't really a good last minute solution. You might want to encrypt before you send it off. But as I said, if the machine's broken and you can't encrypt, then you're kind of sort of stuck. If your problem is not hard disk related, one scenario that works sometimes, not often, but sometimes, is to either pull the hard disk and replace it with another one, or just pull the hard disk and have the repair technician provide their own, or take a complete image backup of your hard disk if you can, right? If your machine's working well enough for that to happen and then uh, wipe the disk, reinstall Windows or do something so that the disk no longer has your data on it. You've got it saved somewhere in a backup. And potentially if you've been doing nightly backups already, you may already have this in place. So it may be okay for you to proactively wipe the hard disk and just rely on your most recent image backup to restore your entire machine. Again, that's something that you had to prepare for, but it could prevent you from handing over your sensitive data to a third party. Pulling the hard disk, like I said, if the problem, if you know that the problem is not hard disk related, it's not operating system configuration related, then yeah, pulling the hard disk and letting the, the technician provide his own and fix whatever else he can without a hard disk, great. Nine times out of 10, that doesn't work because the problem is either the hard disk itself or the configuration of Windows itself, which is on the hard disk. So once again, you're kind of sort of screwed. One thing that people try and use is application password protection. In other words, uh, your word processor may have the ability to password protect a document. That's okay. It's better than nothing. And if you use it regularly, Again, it's something you need to use before you need it. Then, sure, it's not as good as dedicated encryption, mostly because encryption within these applications is an add-on. Often it's an afterthought and often, especially initially, it's not really implemented as well as it could be. More mature applications, like say the current versions of Microsoft Office, are probably doing it right. But beware that it's less than ideal. So ultimately, it really is all about trust. And your options are very few and very inconvenient. If you can, keep your sensitive data encrypted ahead of time, just preparing for this kind of scenario. It also helps for the theft scenario, right? If your machine gets stolen, then the data that you might care about is already encrypted and the thieves are not going to be able to get into it. Same then applies to your repair person. They're not going to be able to get into your data. You can still run the operating system. They just won't be able to get into your data. Fantastic. Investigate password protection in your applications and potentially use it to secure your data. Again, ahead of time. I prefer the dedicated encryption solutions like Boxcryptor or Veracrypt or even BitLocker encrypting a folder or an entire partition, but application uh, password protection is one approach. If you've got sensitive data on the machine that you simply cannot hand over to somebody else, consider not giving that machine to anybody else ever. That honestly is the only 100% secure solution. What does that mean? Well, it means you can't get the machine repaired by someone else. If you can't find someone you trust, then don't give them the machine that has the data they might be able to access. And yes, I absolutely have heard of people, typically corporations, that have gone down this path where what they have stored on a machine is so incredibly sensitive that instead of repairing the machine, they will destroy it and replace it rather than risk having that data exposed to an untrusted third party. Hopefully, you'll never be in that situation. Hopefully, that's not something you're doing. But that's the extreme that you might need to take it to if you think you are.
Now, I do want to be very clear about something else that's very important. You should be backing up, right? You should be backing up regularly. Daily is my recommendation. That way, of course, if your machine dies and if you can't get it fixed or if you are extreme and need to go ahead and destroy the machine because you don't trust anybody, then you at least have your information, your data saved on a backup. And as I said, it also might enable some of those more obscure repair scenarios where you can erase the hard disk before sending it into repair uh, and then restore your data from your backup. But the bottom line is, regardless of exactly how or even if you get the machine repaired, your backups are crucial to making sure you don't lose any data, sensitive or otherwise, along the way. I hope that was helpful. I hope that helps you make some decisions about exactly what to do when your machine dies and you need to hand it off to somebody else. For updates, for related links, for comments and more, visit askleo.com 17773. I'm Leo Notenboom and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.